as cars pass by on Underwood Avenue. We're on a busy street here. Drivers are greeted by a colorful display on the north side of the street. I mean, it's really hard not to love brightly colored, warm and fuzzy, you know, yarn wrapped trees. Artist Cindy Weil is behind the yarn bombing project. For her, it's about drawing attention to not only these trees, but the many Omaha lost in severe storms this summer. When I looked around the city and there were all these trees down, I just um, really felt, you know, like called to do something. So Weil installed this exhibition over the holiday weekend covering 10 trees, including one that'll have to come down due to storm damage. Originally, I just thought I would cover this tree up to the top, um, but then I decided that it had more impact if I would cover all of them. Weil says she watched severe weather impact places across the nation this summer, from wildfires to drought to hurricanes. She wanted to acknowledge Nebraska's own weather events. For me, it was worth pointing out and remembering that we have our own place in this kind of climate change continuum, recognizing that um, that it's real and and that there's something that we could all be doing about it is um, is important to me and and hopefully people will at a minimum think about honor and appreciate the trees in Omaha. Weil notes the long history of tree planting in Nebraska, the home of Arbor Day. Whether it be time or money, she hopes this colorful call to action will motivate people to contribute in any way they can. Let's plant more trees in Omaha. Alexandra Stone, KETV Newswatch 7.